The overall goal of the following experiment is to prepare two types of substrates for DNA nanostructure experiments, mica and functionalized silicon oxide. This is achieved two different ways for the two substrates. The top layer of mica is removed using double-sided tape in a quick and easy process. Conversely, silicon substrates must be cleaned using RCA cleaning, which entails etching of the oxide layer and removal of both metal and organic contaminants. This produces a clean, smooth silicon oxide layer that can be further functionalized. Next, the mica is flooded with magnesium ions to create a positively charged surface. An analogous surface is created on the silicon oxide substrate through the formation of a positively charged self-assembled monolayer, such as 3-amino-propyl triethoxysilane. Next, the substrate is exposed to the DNA origami solution in order to promote adhesion of the negatively charged DNA with the positively charged substrates. Coverage is dependent on substrate type, solution concentration, and deposition time, factors that can be varied depending on the experiment performed. The main advantage of this technique is that the aptus monolayer is covalently attached to the silicon surface. It can be deposited in a specific pattern through e-beam lithography in a technique called molecular liftoff. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle with the unique manipulation techniques needed for the small substrates as well as perfecting the appropriate protocol for handling, deposition, and drying. Visual demonstration of this method is critical as the substrate manipulation and RCA cleaning and safety protocol